Well, it's uh, 3.10 morning. I'm headed to the airport. Got all my stuff, my camera, the essentials. <laughs> uh, going to San Antonio to spend some time with the boys. We're gonna go with camping and some do some hiking, herping, and hopefully get some cool stuff. Um, it's pretty cloudy, so I hope my flight's not gonna be delayed. These small jets not really kind of unpredictable with what they'll be delayed for, but uh, I guess we'll see. Um, I will keep making little videos to stay updated on what we're doing, and um, hope you guys will tag along and stick along for the entire time. Well, I'm in San Antonio. Should be fun. I'm gonna get the check bag and then our uh, rental car, and then I'm gonna head to Jared's place. So, when you see me next, you'll also see him. What are you doing? <laughs> it has to come to you. <laughs> yeah, I made it to Jared's house. Campsite mood, just got here. Say hi, Jared. <laughs> Should be nice, just hanging out. How do we feel about getting its grilled, Jared? It's good, but our waitress was not the smartest lady. <laughs> <laughs> Having lunch or dinner, I guess, before the match. You know how it would be. Good. That's the first thing I did was get my white girl summer on. Nice. Nice, good round. But you ready for weapons. So I was just trying to stream Jared's game and it wasn't working very well because the phone service, but such is life. They're playing their open game right now and then we're gonna head back to the campsite. David should meet us there. And Dead Jared in. just got another yeah, kill. Yeah, they are throwing pistols. <laughs> Look at this shit. 1A, 2B. Just chill. Under four still. Nice. So we got to the campsite, went to go find a bathroom, and ended up catching a gecko. True, true gap shit. Where'd he go? Uh, I don't know. Oh, it's right there. Go. 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 Go.
That's a really good in situ photo. Nice. Can someone ID this for me? Please. Thank you for standing still. Nobody can see you, but would you like to say hi to the people? Good morning, America. <laughs> Herping at 11 o'clock. After most of us have been up since like 3 a.m. Oh, we all really have, haven't we? I don't know about Jared. I went to sleep at 3 a.m. <laughs> Even better. Good morning, Jared. Day two. Oh. So we woke up at like. 8 a.m. a little earlier. Oh shit, my hair looks like fucking garbage right now. To uh, start getting ready for the day. <laughs> Made some coffee. Overboiled the jet boil. Just camping things. Uh, we're gonna head to the Canyon Lake Dam today to do some herping and a little bit of hiking. And then, Jared, I didn't know you had bug spray. Yeah. What the fucking fuck? Okay. Um, and then we're gonna go to Guadalupe State Park, Guadalupe River State Park, to do, again, some herping and probably a trail. Uh, that one's about five miles, and I think the herping we're doing is maybe like half a mile, but, you know, herping takes forever, so. Say hi, David. Good morning. Hello. And then, thank you. And we're gonna get some stuff from the store. Right, David? Yes. And I need to actually remember to buy a toothbrush because I'm a disgusting bastard who didn't bring one. No, because mine's electric, so I didn't want to bring my electric Bro, toothbrush. I bring my electric toothbrush everywhere. That thing is like literally 10 years old. <laughs> Whatever, man. Like, that, was, oh that, was, God, that was pretty was so good. good. Which place was that? I don't remember. It was a breakfast joint. It was just, it was like, it was. Oh, breakfast. yeah, it was that random place on the side of the spoon. Yeah. All right, David, where are we at right now? What are we doing? Uh, I don't know what this restaurant's called, but we're eating breakfast. We're gonna go follow the itinerary that you made and I did not read. <laughs> I'm just getting chicken and waffles. That's all I know. This place That's is called Wildflower Artesian Bakery and Grill. And then we're going to Canyon Lake. We're going to Canyon Lake. We just got to, they're over there, you can't see them, but we just got to the uh, Canyon Lake Nature Center, which is actually less of a nature center and more of just a fucking big ass well, wild area. There's a parking lot over there, and then there's like a trail that goes down there that we're gonna go on. And then, otherwise, we're just gonna be exploring areas like this and seeing if we can find any cool herps under rocks like this. Which, there's nothing under there, but such is life. And then, as usual, I'm gonna put everything back just where you found it. So, anyway, yep, that's what we're doing right now. And then, uh, next we're gonna be headed to the gorge to do some herping. Okay. That's already recording. Cactus. Looks like something shoot through there, like there might be something in the middle of it. Open up the center. Oh well. Nothing. There's a nice beetle though. Where? <laughs> what up, bitch? Depends on what you get, but yeah. Yeah. Say hello. No, 
Oh, right. No, no, no. But like, like he literally makes himself stupid so that he no longer resists the ability. He's in the handicap spot. How's it feel, David? How's it feel? Being in the handicap spot. Does it feel natural? <laughs> <laughs> So David, yes. how did you feel about Granny's D? Granny's D was filling, it was scrumptious, it was tasty, it was cheap. <laughs> it was fantastic. Thank you. Just got to Guadalupe River State Park. We're at the Bower unit. We're gonna go hiking and uh, maybe catch some herps. And first we gotta ride at the car pass, obviously, but such is life, so stay tuned. Say hello, bitches. So, that was unsuccessful. Uh, we hiked the entire four miles and didn't find a single thing except for two lizards and some random people. How do you feel about that, Jared? Okay, solid. And um, now we're going to Government Canyon after we get some gas and do some background ripping. So. None. Say hello. Hello. You're gay. Ah, uh, true. What is this place? The Government Canyon? Yep. Fed Government Canyon. Canyon State Park. Fed Canyon. Headed to the back country. Pink flagging means poison ivy. Okay. So if you see a pink flag on a bush, it is poison ivy. Fucking remember that, please. Okay, I will that remember that. Sucks. Roll around in it. That shit sucks. Only if you're allergic to it. Track condition. Good. Lower theropod tracks and sauropod tracks. That's crazy. Styrofoam can last 10,000 years. That's a polymer. David, would you like to tell the crowd when we're heading back to the car? We're heading back to the car because my intestines need to baby. release a lot of shit from inside of them. So, we're going back there. The Plus, as you can tell, I am slowly becoming a formerly fat man. But could you show the camera the other two contestants here? These motherfuckers are skinny. So, whatever they say about, you can't go long. Bitch, I can go along with your mom. <laughs> well, she's dead, so. Oh my god. They are so Fuck sore. the legs. What are we getting, Jared? Um, yummy thighs. How do you say it, Thigh. David? Thigh. Say it as white as you can. Foul. Oh my god. For some streamer with two views to get a donation from Mr. Beast. Kind of. Are we racist, David? We're very racist. Okay. We're very racist.
prepping at the Cibolo Nature Center. There's something actually in there. Anyway, it's lightninging. Jared's right there. There's David. It's coming this way. I know. It's probably an armadillo. They're the only ones dumb enough to come at something. Oh shit. I can like see its ass. Oh yeah, it is an armadillo. Yeah. This piece is a crab spider. Hmm. So, this is what we're dealing with right now. Jared and David are doing things to their tents while I'm sitting in the car because my... fucking tent is in an unideal situation. Well, my tent's fine actually, but I don't want to open it because it's on the, the wind is coming from, the rain is coming from this way and the opening is right there. <laughs> so, Jared's getting David some stakes to put on his tent, even though I'm pretty sure, or just to put a tarp on his tent, even though I'm pretty sure his tent is waterproof. I can see water rolling off of it, but he doesn't want to risk it, so. We're just chilling for now. I think I'm gonna try to wait till the wind subsides and go drink a beer underneath the thingy. What's up? This is very cool and epic. So we're just chilling at the campsite. But uh Jared sense wet, David sense wet. 
<laughs> what? I don't know. My tent's fine. But it sounds like you guys have... Actually, could you... I, I can probably remedy this. Um, can you go in my car in the back seat? My towel is just laid out. So it's the next morning, we're at Granny's D again. Um, Jared's tent got fucked, and it, he threw it away. David's tent got fucked. My tent got actually fucked too. One of the poles snapped and went through the fabric of the little like hook thingy, so that was cool. Um, but we survived. David and Jared slept in the car, and now they're dealing with their stuff. And then we're gonna have some breakfast. <laughs> and so yeah. Um, we're gonna have to hang out today. It's the last day of the trip. We're gonna go watch the race while we eat breakfast. Watch the major, the Antwerp major's on right now for CSGO. And uh, we're just gonna hang out. And I'll see you guys when we're at Jared's house, probably. That much low health. I mean, these guys are both one shot. They can do a lot of around, yeah. Damage. That's a good kill. That's a good kill. Oh my That's god. That's round over. Wow. Well, I just got to the airport. I'm returning my budget rental car. It's decent rent. And, uh, it. And, uh, that's the end of the trip. Sorry I didn't say goodbye or get me saying goodbye to Jared and David on the recording, but. Uh, such is life. I kind of didn't think about it at the time. And so now I'm at the airport. Is there email you like your seat to go to? Oh, uh, yeah. J so, yeah, i um, just going to head down to the terminal and get myself checked in, my bag checked. Well, I'm already checked in, but get my bag checked and head to the terminal. Times. And then uh, wait around for my flight and hang out. So. Thanks for watching the video. If you guys stuck around for so long, I'll get some video inside the plane and the terminal and whatnot. But uh, yeah, that's the end of my trip. And uh, it's been fun. Did a lot of hiking, took a lot of pictures. And um, had a good time with the boys. My bag weighs fucking 40 pounds. Gotta lug it all the way through the goddamn garage over there. This shit's heavy. It's got all my camping gear in it. Except for the fucking tent that broke last night. Thanks, Storm. Piece of shit. Bro, I had this shitty four-door, like, four-cylinder car, and you're telling me I could have rented a fucking Corvette? Bro. Actually, that might be somebody's personal vehicle. I'm not going to lie. But it's in the fucking rental spot. It's got a Florida tag, though. Whack. I tried to check into United, but I'm flying out of American. Haha, <laughs> so funny. Damn, security be empty, yo. What the fuck? This shit's crazy. I've never seen a major international airport with like security this empty. Shit. <laughs> Buying this for David. Got to the Dallas airport. It's a pretty nice one. It's much larger than the San Antonio. It takes you like 15 minutes to get to the next terminal, basically. They've got a nice sky bridge, so it's nice. But yeah, on to the next flight. YouTube. Back in Kansas, bitches. Empty airport vibes. So I'm at home. Well, I'm at the airport still. 
but uh, my car is completely dead. Like completely dead. Won't even click dead. I'm pretty sure I left the light on when I left, so it's entirely my fault. But I actually don't really know how I would have done that because I didn't touch my lights when I was getting out of the car. So I must have bumped it or something else was left on or something. But yeah, totally dead. And I'm in a parking spot where I can't jump it. So my wife is coming to get me. And then I can go home.